again everybody I'm back up here where the windmill is I have my solar panels right here behind me here is the power box and other miscellaneous stuff tools and stuff in that box now what I'm going to do of course right now there is no wind the windmill is not moving at all which is fine um, there is also as you can see behind me it is very cloudy right let's see right up in here is the sun <laughs> so we're not getting any sun either so there's no solar and no wind the only power I'm gonna be getting right now will be water that's a good thing about having three sources anyway let's see if we can't get this stuff hooked up and we'll give it a try Okay, just one little tip. Um, if you're going to be working on something where you may have to pound something in or beat on anything, try to remember to bring a hammer. <laughs> I forgot a hammer. I got everything else. Yeah, I got a whole. I got a whole box full of stuff there. I've even got a torch. I don't even need a torch. I don't even know why I brought it. But I don't have a hammer, and that's the one thing I did need. Anyway, I managed to find me a pretty good rock, and uh, it worked to hammer in the the uprights for the solar panels. Now, uh, I know I said this when I put them up where I had them last time, but I'm going to make a permanent structure for them. For right now, it's just for testing, but... Uh, yeah, I know I said that probably last year when I put this same setup up on the hill over here. But now that I know I have the windmill and I have the solar panels and the water wheel or water generator all in one little area, I know this is where I'm going to leave them. So now I can build a rack to hold them. But for right now, we're just going to do that. And I mean it works because the sun will be coming up back there up behind me up here and it comes across the sky like that right now and then later on in the year it's going to go more up so for right now i have them tilted like that so that you actually have a little bit of uh of an angle so what i'm going to do this is the positive of this panel and this one is the oops yeah this one is the negative of this panel so I'm going to I'm going behind here but I'm gonna hook those two together so now these are my outgoing leads these will plug in to the leads that will go to the charge controller okay this around I'm going to try to end up with these under here probably should cut this thing off all right I want the connectors at least under it Sort of kind of protected. And now we have our wires that we need to put to our charge controller, but they're cut on the end. We need to put connectors on. And you can see 
the red is the positive. You can see the little plus on there. That's the red wire. So this is the positive, and this is the negative. So I'll put on a connector. Okay, so now, after hooking up, see I've got this, this wire hooked to, I rigged up the end of this multimeter to have solar plugs on it so I can test. But I've got the positive hooked up there, and then we'll hook up the negative right here. And okay, now open voltage, of course, it, it has no load on it. So open voltage is getting 40 volts from the sun right now. The reason that you got 40 volts right now is because they are in series. All right, so what we're going to do, let's try. Okay, we will need amps. We're getting almost an amp out of it. That's a short, dead short right there. We're getting almost an amp out of the solar panels right now. But open voltage we're getting. Uh, there it is. We're getting 40 volts. This is the old meter. It's been kind of beat around in my, and dropped. It's been kind of beat around in my toolboxes and stuff. So yeah, so you're just shaking it around sometimes. Yeah. But it's really getting 40 volts out of those. Anyway, see so if we can get it hooked into the charge controller and see what it what that does. All right, now we can see right now we have 12.33, 12.34 in the battery. So back here, we've already got one side of the solar hooked up. Let's hook the other one up. There we go. Now what we got? 12.6, 6.264. Okay, so it is going up. That's what we want. We want to see the battery going up with the uh, solar hooked up. With That means we're charging from the sun. So we're getting free power from the cloud-covered sun ball. It's coming out pretty good now, but still got some clouds over it but we're charging pretty good all right so now we also have some wind and we have that hooked in too so let's just see if we can figure out how much power we're getting out of that all right so you see on the back here we got the solar plugged in here and this is where uh, this is where the wind is supposed to hook up. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to hook this up just yet. Let's check out our voltage. Okay, 12.89, 12.9. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to unplug. I'm going to unplug my solar. And you can see it's dropping. Yeah, see it's dropping now. Okay, now what I'm going to do, plug in the wind. And then let's see what we got. It is, oh, it's kind of hard to get down here. It is going up, there it goes. So we are charging on only wind power now. 
because as you can see right there the um, see if I can here is the lead for the solar so it is unhooked the only thing hooked up is the wind and with the wind hooked up it's going uh, the way that we want it to go all right so we are producing voltage how much though okay we got the one plugged in and then trying to hold this <laughs> I thought putting the camera on a tripod would be enough, but uh, all right. Now we got the other lead right here and the meter lead. 24. That seems like a lot. Okay. Before the wind quits, I'm going to go over here to amps. Let's see what amps we get here. Looks like 4.7, 4.6. Seems pretty good to me. I'll figure that out and see uh, how many watts that that is. See me like that's pretty good. All right, let's hook it all up to the box and just let it all charge and see what we get. Okay, so we have our solar. Connectors right here. And up. And we have our wind connected. Now our water, we don't have the wires run up here yet. I gotta get some more wire. But we have wind and sun powering this box right now. I have a power drill plug-in type. And I'm gonna plug it in. And I'm gonna try to use this power that we're making. Painting the power. So I would say that's pretty successful. All right, so we have power. Holding it almost 13 volts. It's going back up to 13 volts, I guess. Running that did run it a little, run it down a little bit. But it will hold at like 12.5, even with that running. And this pulls five amps. So it will keep up with five amps continuously. Now the only thing that is really on the cabin right now is lights and um, I'm about to get a TV up there, but really the main electrical that's even up there is the lights. Um, I've got a fan that I run, but it pulls maybe an amp. So this, with my wind generator and my solar, should be fine. But once I add on the water also, now I ought to be able to run everything I got. Shouldn't be any kind of problem. All right, I'm happy. All right, well, of course, <laughs> we're 
when they get ready to do a wide shot and show the whole thing with the windmill turning and all that, the wind died down. So, I guess right now, right now you can't see the windmill turning. But, we're getting all kinds of solar right now. And when the uh, sun goes down, goes behind a cloud, sometimes we get, get a little wind. Uh, we had both a while ago. Uh, that's pretty nice. But, now this is my power system. I need to... I'm going to get some more pallets. I'm going to build me a little shelter over top of my power station there, my little power box. Uh, I know it's a weatherproof box, but some of the stuff I have mounted on it is not weatherproof. Um, but if I build me a little, a little shelter around it, I can keep tools in there and stuff to work on whatever with, so I don't have to bring stuff up here every time. Uh, I can, of course, keep the box in it and keep it out of the weather. We've got our setup. Anyway, next I'm going to work on hooking it up to the cabin. I wish the wind would kick back up. <laughs> the wind was blowing pretty good a while ago. Now it's died out. But anyway, you get the idea. We've got the windmill turning. We've got the solar panels over here. They're uh, solar paneling. And uh, we are getting free energy from the sun and the wind. Now all I gotta do is hook up my water uh, generator and I'll have power from the elements going to the cabin. I'd say that'll be the next video. We'll be uh, hooking up the water and hooking up the cabin. Anyway, I appreciate everybody watching and I'll see y'all on the next one.